fat was harmed in the making of this video. 44. I think that was 43. This bra is not a supporter type of sports bra by any means. I got to 300 and it seemed like such a daunting task, but now I'm at 200 and I haven't broken a sweat yet. It feels so good to get this far and not feel like I'm completely dying. Three hundred and three. Sweating a lot right now. As you can see, I'm exhausted. Save yourself. Save yourself. That's what I. That's what I can say. Like that's how I'm feeling. I can slay my own dragon. I can be my own queen, my own queen. My light and shining no more is me. And I'm gonna set me free. I don't wanna be my vanilla. I went in the coldest December. Mama, what you doing, baby girl? Say hi, Mama. Say hi. Say hi to the camera. Say hi, camera. Hi, camera. Y'all already know, like, y'all already know what it is. Like, I'm a straight up stoner. Like, I like to smoke weed every day. I'm telling you, yesterday when I smoked, I did not give in to my munchies. I'm getting emotional because we are so hard on ourselves. I gotta stop saying we. Me, make it to day seven. Seven days, give yourself seven fucking days, Anya. Your life is worth giving seven days to jumping rope, to jumping a thousand times a day. Something you used to do when you were a kid, like it was nothing. Your life is worth jumping rope for seven days. 333, my most consistent amount of jumps has been 43. Four. I need to sit down. Seven, four. Oh my God, y'all. Thousand. A thousand. A thousand fucking. A thousand fucking jumps. I'm excited. Day three. Like, I really want to keep this up. I really want to keep doing this. Um, today is one of those days where I'm like. I don't feel like doing it, but I know I have to do it. And because I have to do it, because I have a goal in mind, I know I need to do it, which makes me want to do it. If that makes sense, I am going to do these jumps. I don't feel like it. I really don't feel like it, y'all. I really don't feel like it. It has been a learning process. I'm not saying I have it all figured out. I do still struggle with body dysmorphia. I still struggle with eating habits, like, you know, binge eating and everything. And I mean, not really anorexia anymore. That gas has also helped with any type of anorexic thoughts that I may have where it's like, hey, Anya, maybe you shouldn't eat today. Um, and then you'll, you know, drop such and such pounds. Like, that's so unhealthy. Now I actually have something in my head that's like, ooh, munchies, 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 eat, eat, eat. All right, let's jump. Three thirty-seven, baby. Seven hundred. Seventy percent of the way there. A hundred, baby. When I hear this song, I'm saying to myself, "Oh yeah, how deep is your love for yourself? You can keep going, right?" You can keep going, right? 
ultimate feeling Got me lifted, feeling so gifted Get so fly My hear this song? I think about what they're gonna sing how you get so flat. On the day you don't feel like it is the day where it feels like it matters. I'm proud of myself for doing it, for not uh, saying, well, I did ballet, so that's a workout. No, sticking to my jump rope, sticking to what I said that I was going to do, and the fact that I'm doing that, I just took off that damn skirt and was like, fuck it, raw. This is real raw, raw, okay? Good morning, you guys. It is day four. Day freaking, freaking, freaking four. I was just curious and I wanted to hop on the scale. Um, so I hopped on and I'm shook. I was in here listening to <laughs> Ariana Grande's POV song. It made me fall in love with me. <laughs> but the bitches in here losing weight. shirt as motivation PJ shorts motivation and PJ socks motivation new pair of socks you guys I'm shook my one of my camera card camera card memory cards were full I can't even speak because I'm still trying to catch my breath I just have to switch out my memory cards really quick but I made it to 97 consecutive jumps 97 what? 97 jumps. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to record, but my neighbor is going in out there, okay? He is going in. This is fucking beautiful. Your hard work. He over here. All right, motherfucker. Your hard work is beautiful. Now, instead of saying, yeah, Anya, you're worth it. You can always do it again tomorrow. Instead, my mentality is, Anya, you're worth it. You can do it right now. See you guys tomorrow in day five. This is day four. Tomorrow's day five. Tomorrow's day five. You're going to see what I did for my day five. I had kind of a busy day today and I woke up late, but I was able to get my thousand jumps in. I literally jumped outside of our apartment. PJ was such a trooper and he was out there with me and it was like, it is like 2 a.m. But I did it. Day five is down and it's day five because I haven't gone to sleep yet. I'm proud of myself for going out there and jumping today, even though I was exhausted, even though, hey mom. So I she wants some mommy time. Hey baby. You see the camera? Not as much as I do when I'm in the house. Now also too, it was cold out there, okay? This is what I'm looking like. I'm not as sweaty as I normally am, obviously because of the cool temperature outside. I do not recommend waking up late if you are planning on doing this in the morning because then you'll find yourself doing this super late in the evening like me. But I feel good, you guys, and honestly, I'm so surprised every time I step on the scale. Jumping outside on the concrete was a whole other feat than jumping on my hardwood floors, on top of my rug, on top of my yoga mat. That's how I like to jump. That's the end of my little tidbit for day five. I'm excited for day six because that's one step closer to day seven. I'm going to continue to do this journey. Uh-oh. 
what's up you guys um oh actually today is day six and we are going to be doing a thousand jumps again i'm actually really excited about today i'm gonna put my braids into manageable ponytails Um, so my face is kind of drying out, but I am sweating all over. Um, I am super duper hyped because today is day six and we completed day six. Day six, you guys, I'm telling you, I really thought I wasn't gonna do day five. I thought I really wasn't gonna go outside and go jump, but I did, I went and jumped. Um, and I don't know why, but it just made me feel so good. And today jumping, I realized that jumping was a lot easier, I'm not, as out of breath, of course, I was, listen, falling over in all types of pain, but it was it was good. It was a good ass jump rope sesh. Um, taking it one day at a time. And I have to keep reminding myself that I am taking it one day at a time and not put pressures on myself um, thinking about the future. It can be motivating, but at the same time, it can quickly deteriorate your happiness because you'll be thinking, oh, I'm not reaching my goal yet. Oh, it's gonna take so long to reach my goal. Don't worry about how long it's gonna take, just know that you'll get there. And when you know that you'll get there, it'll push you to say, you know what? Today I'm gonna do it. Today I'm gonna start. Today is gonna be my day one. And then day two is, this is my day two. Day three, this is my day three. And you don't have to keep starting over. Who likes starting over? It's crazy. And I don't wanna be crazy. I'm exhausted. I'll see you tomorrow on day seven. It is day seven. You know what's crazy though? I really feel like I must be like a lazy ass because even though it's day seven, I still didn't feel like doing any of the jumps today. And I got my lace front on today because I went out and I got to be glued though so I don't feel like just ripping it off my hair. You bomb sponsor me. A thousand. A thousand. A thousand. Day seven. A thousand jumps. Day seven. Talk to me. Stupid if you want to. I'm exhausted. My titties are popping out of this terrible sports bra I wore today. This what I mean when I said my titties was popping out of this bra. Ooh, look at all that good sweat. Another good day of good sweat, you guys. Another good day of good sweat. This is day seven after doing my jumps. Ooh, ooh. 
has been reporting and doing a thousand jumps each day for the past seven days. Honestly, I am a little shook by the amount of weight I lost, especially since I haven't been really changing my diet at all. I think my portion control has been a lot better. I'm sweating all over my face. Do y'all see this? I wanted to do my thousand jumps earlier in the day, but as y'all can see, life happens. Like you're doing shit, you're going around, you're living your life. When I watch people do these challenges, I don't really see anybody going through what I'm going through at least. I don't see anyone who's like struggling. I see people who are beast mode and people who are smaller than me. Um, I haven't really seen anyone my size doing it. I did this challenge not doing any other exercises during this challenge. I haven't done like Chloe Ting stuff. Yeah, I did like my little ballet warm ups and stuff. I am going to keep doing this, but instead of seven days a week, five days a week. And I wasn't doing this expecting any results to just magically happen. I knew I had to do the work. It's hard, it's so fucking hard. I don't think anyone on here, and people, and that's my other thing too. People have been doing this challenge, right? And then at day seven, they're like, oh my gosh, it's so easy, blah, 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 blah. No, this shit do not get easy, okay? It's always gonna be difficult. You're just gonna get stronger. The world ain't gonna be ready for me, okay? The world is not gonna be ready but Anye, Ronswood, Kanye, Yonce, whatever you wanna say. Hopefully I can do the Chloe Ting one, I don't know, but I am gonna do it because I gotta get these abs in shape, baby. For this challenge, I'm doing my weigh-in on my day eight, which would be tomorrow. Day seven is officially done over, it's thin. For day eight, I told you guys I would be doing my official weigh-in the day after I jump. So waking up today, I weighed myself and I was, and I wanna pop it on the screen, I'm so hyped because you guys saw where I started and you guys see where I ended if I wanted to completely change what I ate then that would be a whole other shit bang bang okay some people may say wow a thousand jumps a day that's not really a lot it's not a lot per se but it's a lot and if you can do that that means you have really great endurance you got strength if you could just keep jumping all the way to a thousand ooh baby you want a whole other level and i don't want to touch it just yet okay i gotta wait till i get myself in order to be able to compete with that because in the beginning of this, I had to keep saying to myself, save yourself, save yourself. Once day five, six, seven hit, I knew I could save myself. It was a matter of whether I felt like it. Because if you don't somewhere deep in your heart feel like it, you're not gonna do it. <sighs> day seven was the last day that you'll ever see my stomach look as beautiful as it did, okay? Because on day seven at the end of it, Juan curling this freaking hair, <sighs> this happened. See what I did. Please give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I shall see you in my next one. Peace.